Hey, how's it going? This is Andy coming to you again from here in Germany. And I'm going to continue with the new rock bass instruments and show you the instrument that I'm holding right now, which is the rock bass Corvette basic in the fretless version. I've already published one video where I go into a lot of the details of all the awesome new upgrades and advances in the new rock bass Corvette basic line. And you can always refer to that. But in this particular video, we'll go into the details of the fretless. All right, let's just dive right into the specs. The body is alder. This particular one is finished in this beautiful transparent uh, Nirvana black satin. And the fingerboard is Tiger Stripe Ebony. There are two more important factors of all the new rock bass instruments, and I'll tell you about them right now. First of all, the way that the pickups are mounted, there's a threaded insert and a machine screw that's used in order to adjust the pickup height up and down. Now there's a different type of insert being used that's down inside the body. The insert itself is actually threaded into the body so it will never come out of there. So you have the machine screw and you have the ability to raise and lower and adjust the pickups to, the, to your desired height and you'll always be able to do that without having any problem with the insert coming loose. So that's new. The second thing that I would like to tell you about is inside the control cavity. It's now completely copper foil shielded. And this instrument has two J style pickups on it. So whenever you have two J style pickups, you run the risk of it being noisy. And when we get into the sound examples, I'll demonstrate exactly how quiet it actually is. There are several features and specs that carry over that have kind of always been part of the rock bass line, but I'll uh, illustrate a few of those right now. First of all, it has the adjustable nut system, which enables you to raise and lower the string height at the nut. And this is going to be really important on fretless because a fretless nut setup is different than a fretted setup. So being able to adjust it is a very important factor on a fretless bass. We also have the quick access truss rod cover. If you need to make a truss rod adjustment, that enables you to pop it off in two seconds, make an adjustment, pop it right back on. Another important feature that carries over is the bridge. It's the two-piece, three-dimensional bridge system, which enables you to adjust the bridge in all directions. The saddles are also adjustable, which enables you to adjust the spacing a little bit if you want to. And of course, backwards and forwards to fine-tune the intonation. Also, once you get it all set and adjusted to where you want it, where it needs to be, it has these two locking screws on either side. And that, once you tighten those down, the bridge is absolutely rock solid and it will never go anywhere. The Rock Bass Corvette Basic has two active MEC J-style pickups and it has four controls. Volume, blend for blending between the two pickups, active treble, and active bass. The active treble and the active bass control are boost cut. So you have a center indent in the pot and that helps you know that you're right in the middle and you can either boost treble or cut treble. Same thing with the bass. And the blend control also has a center indent so as you're turning it you can feel when you're in the middle. The middle being both pickups slightly rolled to the front you got more neck pickups slightly rolled to the back you've got more bridge pickup. Another feature that carries over is the laminated three-piece laminated maple neck with this really nice smooth satin finish and um, you know it's it's just a fast comfortable playing neck. All right, let's dive into some playing examples. But before I start, I want to tell you about how we're actually recording the bass. I'm playing through the Warwick Gnome iPro 600 head into a pair of the Gnome cabinets. And we have a microphone on the cab and a DI signal, and they'll be blended. Right now, I have it set on the bridge pickup only. I have the, treble, the active treble control turned about most of the way down. And I have the bass control boosted just a little bit. Thank you. 
right, for the next playing example, I have both pickups straight up. I have the bass boosted a little bit, and I have the treble cut a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, I'll take this opportunity to tell you one more time and show you specifically the benefit of the fact that now we have the copper shielding in the entire electronics cavity. This makes the instrument completely noiseless and I'll demonstrate that right now. So traditionally, typically with any dual J style pickup instrument, when you switch from both pickups to one or the other, either the bridge or the neck, it would introduce some noise. I can, re I can remove my, my hands from completely from the strings and I can roll the blend control all the way to the front, center, all the way to the bridge and it remains completely dead quiet. That is awesome. All right, now I've got it set just on the neck position pickup. I have the bass boosted considerably and I have the treble control cut almost all the way down. Okay, to summarize, the Rock Bass Corvette Basic has been completely revamped and in some ways brought to a higher level than it's ever been before. These are changes that you can instantly feel in the neck and uh, in the way that the instrument plays, in the way that the instrument feels, the way that the instrument balances, hangs, and everything about it just feels at a higher quality level than ever before. This is a fact. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. Please uh, hit the like button and subscribe and share with your friends. And uh, stay tuned because I'll be back with more. I have a lot more cool videos coming and I hope that you'll watch them. All right, friends. Peace.